Seminole County, Florida. This Ford Explorer has been evading officers across four counties with no end in sight. The driver has a history of drug abuse and mental illness. Deputy Rick Colentis races ahead to reason with the deluded man. But the suspect ignores him. Blazing into mid-afternoon traffic, he places a bus full of innocent lives between himself and the deputy. Deputy Colentis tries again to pass the suspect and is forced back to avoid a head-on collision. By now, the officers know they have only one option left, ramming him. But the suspect eludes them, charging up oncoming lanes and storming headlong toward an elementary school. That's one, he's running up towards the school by zone three. The deputy has to stop the speeding explorer fast. He barely misses, but Deputy Clintus knows that time is running out. There are other cars close on the road, but the SUV is hurtling toward crosswalks filled with young children. And this is the deputy's last chance to prevent a disaster. punches the rear of the SUV, sending it into a fishtail spin. The top heavy vehicle flips right into another motorist. The deputy swerves to avoid the wreck, sliding into the grass and crashing into a tree. With that one decisive hit, the suspect is stopped cold. The SUV settles to a smoking wreck. Deputy Colentis, despite being stunned by his car's airbag, rushes to help the suspect. But the suspect still struggles, even after suffering serious injuries from the crash. It takes four officers to pull him from the wreckage and put him in handcuffs. 